Hi, uh, my name is Dr. Sunil Bhatt and I'm uh, Director and Clinical Lead of Pediatric Hematology Oncology and Bone Marrow Transplantation at Narana Health City, Bangalore. Today, I'm here to discuss some myths with unrelated blood stem cell donation process. One of the questions which is commonly asked by the donors and the patients and that is, can there be a blood group mismatched or does it, as it, is it important to have same blood group between the patient and the donor? The answer to this question is that no, you don't need to have blood group matching between the patient and the donor. Practically, any blood group donor can donate to the patient. Now, this question is very important in solid organ transplants like liver, kidney, lungs, heart, where you need to have a blood group compatibility or blood group matching between the patient and the donor. But in blood and bone marrow transplants, it is really not important. Any blood group donor can donate for any blood group patient. So that was the first question, you know, which is being asked. Now, also a question which is asked by a lot of unrelated donors is that, will they lose any component of the, their body when they do donation or will there be rejuvenation of the stem cells which they have donated. In a blood group donation process, blood stem cell donation process, um, what happens is that you stimulate the bone marrow of the donor and increase the number of stem cells in the blood and these increased stem cells in the blood are collected by a process which is called a stem cell collection process. So really, you know, the donor doesn't lose anything from the body. It's just extra stem cells which have stimulated and they have been collected. One of the important things about um, bone marrow is that it's a renewable source, a renewable organ. So if you uh, take these extra stem cells out from the bone marrow, you'll get more stem cells will be formed. And after donation process, Practically, in two to three days time, your, your parameters become very close to normal. And in four to five weeks time, absolutely the blood counts, the blood numbers, everything comes to the baseline. So you really don't lose anything from the body. You don't lose any component of the body. And there's a complete rejuvenation of what you have basically donated to the patient. So there's no need to worry on that aspect from the unrelated donor point of view. The third question or the third myth which is always uh, you know in the minds of the donors is that will there be any fertility issues, will there be any potency issues or will there be any problem of the pregnancies in the unrelated donors if they donate. Now it's an important question and one of the important concerns which the donors uh, sometimes come up with and the short answer to again to this um, concern is that really no unrelated donor transplantation unrelated donor stem cell donation doesn't really affect in short term or in long term fertility potency or even capacity to have children or pregnancies so there is going to be no additional risk in any of these aspects to the unrelated donor so this i think should be you know very very clear and this has been shown in thousands of donations which have happened all over the world that this is not really a concern at all and we don't need to worry about it. Now the fourth myth or the fourth question which always the unrelated donors have is that will they be hospitalized? Will they you know lose work because of the donation process? Unrelated donation for, um, for the donors for these healthy adult donors Yes, it's a little bit of inconvenience. Inconvenience, I'll say that, you know, for three to four days, they have to take this growth factor, which is a small injection like insulin diabetic people get for three to four days. So that inconvenience is there, but they can continue working during that phase. There is no loss of work during that process of getting these growth factors for three to four days. The day of collection, when they will collect the stem cells, it is a two to three hour process. It's an outpatient process. And yes, of course, they may lose work on that day. And quite, a, quite often we do this on a Saturday or a Sunday when the donors are not working probably on that day and there may be a loss of work for that day. But practically from next day onwards, they can resume their work, they can resume their duties and they don't need to be on a bed rest or any, any kind of rest post the donation. Inconvenience for a few days just for that prick and maybe a one day loss when they're donating but usually 
after that they are fine they go back to their work so nothing major to be worried on that aspect now one more myth um, or one more concern which um, unrelated donors have is legal implications they worry you know if they have donated for someone who is unknown who is not in the family is not known to them and if you donate their blood stem cells will there be a legal complication will there be a legal implication in future sometimes again a very important question a very important concern and i think also it comes from the solid organ transplant context in solid organ transplant context like liver kidney you know lungs as i said earlier um, these solid organ transplants there's there's a, there's a potential of misuse there's a potential of um, uh, you know um, uh, the the unrelated donors doing it for money or doing it for 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 the sake of uh, material gains but that really doesn't apply in unrelated donor bone marrow transplants at all because the patient and the donors are blinded to each other they don't know each other the donor doesn't know who he is donating who or she is donating for so there is and it's a, it's a defined modality it doesn't need to be specifically the family members in the uh, bone marrow transplant setting who need to donate for the patients it can be anyone in the world who's got the same hla typing or the same matching as the patient has got so there is really no legal implications in the short term or the long term for the unrelated donor they can simply donate the donate the stem cells the patient gets the stem cells cured of the disease and they have not to worry about it at all throughout their life